Hey guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to come on today and do a, just a quick project share of this garden journal that I put together. And then I was going to do some beading to make a dangle charm with you today. So a little craft with me and a project share. So this is a traveler's notebook that I followed step-by-step -step instructions from Amber, who is Lyric Lover Crafts here on YouTube. And I will link her tutorial down below. Um, she does an amazing, amazing job explaining it. I followed it step-by-step -step and it turned out exactly like hers did. Um, so it is basically a sleeve that you can get from clearbags.com. I placed an order for some, um, I think it, maybe 50 of them. It came and it was $30 or something like that. So they're, they're not that expensive, but I have a ton of them now. Um, but what I did is I just took some of my favorite papers from Garden Party, um, cut it down to size and put that in the sleeve. So it basically just slides in, um, slides in here and then you know slides in the other side for the cover. I just embellished it with a, a three-dimensional flower that I made. Here's some leaves that are from Paper Studio from Hobby Lobby. I made a little label with my label maker that just says my garden. Um, I put the folder in the front and I have in there right now just the um, stakes from the flowers that I bought. So I just put those in there for now. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with them. Um, but I tucked those in this little pocket folder. This, instead of creating my own notebook like Amber did, I decided to just cover one of the notebooks that I had picked up. I think this is from um, a $5 grab bag from Michael's a while ago, and it had like maybe the letter A on it. Yeah, you can kind of see, well, maybe you can't, but you can see the A is just barely embossed right there. Um, so I just recovered it with you know, some of my favorite garden party paper, and it's just a lined notebook. So I'm gonna use this to just talk about what I planted this year. Um, I planted both flowers and vegetables, and I just did it over the weekend, and I just wanted a place to document it um, so I can refer back to it each year and um, just look at what worked, what maybe didn't work, what um, grew well in the garden, just things like that. So, um, on the spine, because it's held by elastic, there's this little loop here, and this holds a last lobster clasp perfectly. So what I wanted to do today is just create a dangle charm, um, maybe with some garden elements on it, and hang it from there. So I don't want it too, too long, so I'm just gonna cut my gold chain here. Um, I don't have a cutter. Here we go. My daughter and her friends have been into beading lately, so I um, have been losing some of my things. Um, okay, so I'm just going to take about, I bet you that's just an inch and a half maybe. exactly an inch and a half and um, I'm gonna get out some jump rings because I know I'll need them I'll leave this out just in case I need something else from it okay so that's gonna go aside let's put this together first I'm going to just do a A jump ring. Open that up. Gonna slide on my chain. Gonna slide on my lobster clasp and then the top is finished. I'll close that back up. Okay so we have that now. Now I'm just gonna go pick out a couple um, different charms or beads that I for sure want. So Look in this one first. So I wanna go garden party themed. Um, that's the paper I use, so I kind of stick with those colors, which there are a lot of colors in that one. Um, let's see, a rose would be very pretty. I've got a kind of a lime green, that's a little too dark. Just got some green faceted beads that would be pretty. 
I'll wire wrap those two. And there is some yellow in it. The yellow flower is pretty. I don't think there's much orange. Maybe a little bit of a peach, but we'll go to the pink. I think a strawberry would be really cute. So we'll do a pink strawberry. Um, got some white faceted beads here. We'll pull a couple of those. What else do we need? What is this, the blue? Let's pull in a little bit of blue. Should we do that with faceted beads also? else in here that I want. Oh, I got these bigger flowers. That one's already wire wrapped. Let's exchange that. Can you guys even see what I'm doing? Okay, here's the beads I picked out. Um, clear. I'll get some of these out just because I used those at the end of my head pins so my bead doesn't fall off. I just have these little clear seed beads that I use. So I'm gonna get a bunch of those out so I can get this container out of the way. Okay, get this one out of the way. Take a look at this one next. Um, are there any other colors that we need? Do we need some more green? I do like this. That looks pretty. Um, got these blue hearts. Could use that instead of this. Or I could use this blue ball is really pretty too. I like these matted balls. I think they're so pretty. pull that out as a maybe. Um, I'll pull that out in a yellow. Pull that out in all the colors and see if we can maybe incorporate that in. Okay. All right, so the first thing I need to do is I need to make these beads, I need to wire wrap them. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna be using today. It is the One Step Looper, and it is in the size 2.25. Okay, so now that we've all learned to wire wrap beads, this is gonna make you forget everything you've ever learned and um, make you only wanna use this tool. <laughs> So what I did is I just put my seed bead on my head pin. I'm going to put my bead on there and um, I'm going to put this through. So you're just going to put it straight across like this. It comes out the hole in the end like that. And all you're going to do is squeeze it together and you have got a loop there. I do need to tighten it though. They don't get all the way tight. Okay, so that closed up the hole. Look at that. How easy is that? So I'm going to do this for these four pastel beads. <music>
guys see how easy that was to put all those together? It took like no time at all. So now I'm gonna start assembling how I want it to look on my chain. Um, I think I'm gonna start almost kind of in rainbow order. So I'm gonna maybe put the, maybe reverse rainbow order because some of the pinks are bigger and I'd want the bigger ones toward the bottom. So something like that. I'll just do these white ones on top. And we'll go yellow in the middle. Um, then we'll go greens. Oh, no, I'm sorry. We'll go blue, green, yellow, pink. So we'll do something like that. We'll go green. And I might not have enough room on this chain for all of these, but we'll try. So it'll go reverse rainbow order. And then we'll end with the B. So now I've got to put some jump rings on. this is what it looks like it is super chunky um i think it looks really cute i think it'll look great on this notebook so i did want to mention you probably saw me like kind of fiddling with the jump rings i just wanted to make sure they're closed uh, they were falling off because they were a little loose so i almost had to pinch them together so they were just about overlapping if not overlapping a little bit um, so i just want you to be um, conscious of that when you're using the wire crimper you do have to get it nice and tight um, this lobster clasp it doesn't want to open there we go okay miss must just have been stuck so I'm gonna just hook this onto here and I've got a cute little dangle to go with it so that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching that tutorial, and um, I will see you in my next video. Bye.